Hello I'm Evil with Matt, and today we got a special video. That's right, for some reason a recurring and popular thing throughout the Ed's World series, has been zombies. Hell, even the main nutshell videos has music from an arcade zombie game. So to capitalize on this recurring trend, we're going to show you 5 steps of how to possibly survive the zombie apocalypse. And to show how committed we are to this, other will demonstrate how effective these really are. Wait, I never agreed to this. Ah. Alright let's get this started with. Step 1. Panic. Everyone knows when under pressure and not too sure about what's happening, people adrenaline kick in and will act on a moment noticed. Which means they're easy to trick. So when the incoming chaos ensues, you can just slip on out while society crumbles. Hey, I think they're zombie monkeys in this building. Zombie monkeys, we got to get out of here crash. Step 2. Separations. While you may survive in the apocalypse, the person you're with might be dead weight. They could eliminate your possible chance of surviving, so you need to cut all ties to close ones. Gasp. Teddy. Boom. No. Being completely alone and isolated from everyone means no one else will drag you down, or fracture like every team does, due to internal bickering and personal differences. Yeah. Wait. Step 3. Shelter. All your skills are meaningless if you don't have a place to bunker down. A jail, or a fort is too obvious, a hot spot for everyone to take advantage of. We recommend a trailer, or a suburban neighborhood house, really a place of no value for anyone else to even bother. I can work with this. But be prepared for hard labor, because over time the shelter will break apart. Huh? Crash. Ow. Step 4. Resources. Now that you have a place and the skills to survive, vital nutrients are needed. A well-secure backpack filled with everything essential like, medicine, food, and drinks. Okay, I think I can do this now. And once someone else has all of these, you can just take them for their picking. Ouch. Why me? Step 5. Contingency. Let's face it, you're doomed no matter what. Life is unpredictable especially due to a mortal life that comes with old age. And thanks to denial, we're immortal. So you need to figure out what you'll do when facing the inevitable death. A good way is to take out as much people down with you, so injecting yourself with the zombie virus will definitely help. Wait, if that's the source of the zombies why not get a cure from it? We're not here to make sense, we're here to kill the undead. Fetch me their soul! This is overkill. Gah. So as you can see, this is the ultimate zombie guide as it holds all the best possibilities. Other pain and suffering. Other humiliation. And other crushed hopes and dreams. Anyway, hope this was helpful and happy Halloween.